If megalodons didn't go extinct, what would happen? These monstrous sharks, larger than a city bus, ruled the oceans millions of years ago. Their sudden reappearance would not be a simple addition to our marine life. It would be a game changer. Oceans would no longer be safe havens for beachgoers or sailors. Would our modern technology be enough to protect us from these prehistoric predators? How would their survival impact the balance of marine ecosystems already stressed by human activities and climate change? The answers to these questions hold the key to understanding a future where humanity is no longer the unchallenged ruler of Earth's waters. In a world where megalodon sharks roam the oceans, their presence reshapes the very nature of marine and human life. These colossal predators, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet, dwarf even the largest of today's sharks, the Great White, which averages around 20 feet. The megalodon size is a clear sign of their dominance in the ocean's food chain. With teeth about seven inches long, they're equipped to take down the largest of prey. This shift in the marine hierarchy has a domino effect. The megalodon's preferred diet consists of large marine mammals such as whales, seals, and dolphins. These mammals are crucial to the ocean's ecological balance. With megalodons preying on them, populations of these mammals plummet. This leads to an overgrowth of fish and smaller marine animals that these mammals usually prey on. The increased fish population might sound good, but it's not. It disrupts the natural balance, affecting coral reefs and smaller marine species that rely on a balanced ecosystem. For humans, the consequences are vast. Beaches, once a source of joy and relaxation, become zones of potential danger. Shark nets and barriers become standard, not just in known shark territories, but along most coasts. This new reality impacts local economies heavily. Areas that once thrived on tourism face downturns. Hotels, restaurants, and other businesses struggle as people become wary of venturing into the waters. The fishing industry also faces the brunt of this new reality. Commercial fishing, which contributes significantly to the global food supply, finds itself competing with megalodons for fish and other marine animals. Instances of megalodons attacking fishing boats, mistaking them for competitors or prey, become common. These attacks result in the loss of equipment and in some cases lives, making fishing a high-risk occupation. Scientific studies on the megalodon offer some hope. Researchers discover that these sharks have specific migration patterns, following their prey along certain oceanic routes. This information becomes crucial for fishermen and coastal towns. By understanding where and when megalodons are likely to appear, they can adjust their activities, reducing the risk of encounters. However, this is a temporary solution. The existence of megalodons not only instills fear, but also sparks a surge in marine research. Scientists embark on expeditions, braving the dangers of the deep to study these ancient predators. They uncover fascinating facts. The megalodon's body structure is highly adapted for deep sea life. Their cartilaginous skeleton, similar to modern sharks, allows them to move swiftly and silently, striking their prey with deadly precision. Researchers also study the megalodon's reproductive habits. Unlike many fish species, megalodons give birth to live young, this discovery is made after finding juvenile megalodons in shallow nursery areas similar to great whites. Understanding their breeding patterns provides vital information on how to manage their populations and potentially prevent them from venturing too close to human territories. However, these studies have their limitations. The depth at which megalodons primarily live makes research difficult. Standard submersibles are not equipped to handle deep sea pressures where megalodons thrive. This leads to a technological revolution in marine exploration equipment New, more robust and advanced submersibles are developed, capable of withstanding extreme pressures and capturing high-quality footage of these elusive giants. Despite the terror they inspire, megalodons become a subject of public fascination. Documentaries depicting their lives and habitats draw millions of viewers. This public interest leads to increased funding for oceanic research and conservation efforts. People begin to understand the importance of preserving our oceans, not just for our safety, but for the health of the planet. But how will we coexist with these prehistoric beasts? Efforts are made to track and monitor megalodon populations. Satellite tagging reveals their migratory routes and feeding patterns. Coastal cities use this information to implement safety measures, warning systems, and evacuation plans in case of megalodon sightings near human populated areas. The existence of these gigantic sharks in today's oceans is a situation that would test our understanding of marine biology, challenge our safety measures, and force us to rethink our place in the natural world their impact on the ecosystem, fishing industries, and coastal communities would be big and far-reaching, but perhaps the most significant impact would be on our perception of the ocean, a mysterious, unexplored, and now a potentially dangerous unknown. What other secrets does the ocean hide? What other ancient creatures might be lurking in its depths, waiting to be discovered?